Demix Stream supplies the DX box and DX responsive box widgets that allow you to lay out elements on a page and keep the ratio between the elements when changing the page size, as well as adapt the element layout to the current device. In this video, you'll learn how to configure these widgets. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, WebAppJS, Globalize, jQuery, and Knockout. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the DXbox widget can be added using the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach and adding the DXbox widget using the DXbox binding. I'm going to use the DXbox widget to divide the page into sections, a title, content, and footer. So I'll set the widget's direction option to column. In this instance, the title, content, and footer will be arranged one under another. Let's define the widget's elements. To do this, we'll use the DX item binding. The title and footer will occupy one part of the page, and the content will occupy eight parts of the page. As an example, I'll add a label to the title and footer elements. The content section can be divided into three subsections, so I'll add the box option and define three items. To lay out these three sections horizontally, I'll set the box direction option to row. Since I don't add actual widgets to the page sections, I'll mark them with different colors so that you can see how the DX box widget works. And let's take a look at the result. Here are the sections I defined in code. You can see they keep the specified ratio when changing the page size. Now let's consider a scenario when your page is displayed on different devices that have a different screen size. In this case, the page layout should be adapted to the current device. I'll add the DX responsive box widget to define a page element layout for different screen sizes. The DX responsive box widget lays out its elements within a grid. I'll define the grid using the columns and rows options. To simplify this code, I'll set the single column screen option to XS the size at which all elements are arranged in a column. XS, SM, MD, and LG are predefined screen factors that correspond to a phone screen, small tablet screen, large tablet screen, and large desktop screen respectively. You can use the screen by width widget option to define the logic according to which current size is related to one of the screen factors. In this example, the default size determination is appropriate. I'll define the widget's elements using the DX item binding, just like I did for the DX box widget elements. And I'll specify the location of the items within the widget's grid. To avoid adding actual widgets to the page section, but to have the capability to see how the DX responsive box widget works, I'll highlight the sections with different colors. And let's see what we get. As you can see, the layout of the page sections is adapted to the current page size due to the utilized DX responsive box widget. And that's it. To learn more about the DX box and DX responsive box, refer to the corresponding documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.